Welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we will learn about how we can delete admin and uh, we'll try to implement all these CRUD operations on category.php file in session deletion updation. So, simply here clicking on delete button, so we are going to home.php and the get variable is so the get array index is del id is here so when i do click on this button go to home.php and home.php is, is here and uh, simply to line number one eight six and here del id so the del user id will if this request is set then store the de deletion uh, id into the del user id if uh, the power is equal to yes it means that you are a sophisticated user so you can delete any admin so if yes then del user is not equal to one so it is very important so you can del cannot delete the user one because it is the main admin the user number one if the user id is one which is in like that if if i delete this admin which is id one so please uh Jody, you cannot delete yourself you you can display any message so you cannot delete the admin where the id of the admin is one so you can delete any other admin uh, so here are you sure uh, want to delete this admin so if you want to del delete this admin what will happen i am talking about whenever you click here and the admin id is 4 so the confirmation message is here if you want to delete this admin then click on yes button otherwise oops no thanks you can click this button so this is the form without any fields without any input fields so this is the form with input fields like um, buttons but not text fields is given in this uh, form so you can uh, create this form like that the action is the self you can also uh, instead of giving home.php you can specify the file name like this way the current file server will provide the name of the current file and dot id and the user id is and method post and input type submit like this way and here is the method post and after clicking on the submit button that is yes if user click on uh, no button so then the for the type button no btn btn default and data dismiss this will um, delete the alert so if i click on oops no thanks so, uh, the notification is gone so if you click on delete button click on yes button so what will happen if I click on yes button so this button yes is pressed so the request is going to this page and del user del user is here so del user and look at here confirm delete so go to the post method confirm delete which is here is set confirm delete from post method and then get the id uh, and the id is here with the url you can also get the id and after getting id so simply select all from admin so where id is equal to id and uh, after that uh, store query2 and store and put the result into this table so you are going to delete the picture of the admin also so this is for only 
we are going to retrieve the name of the picture that if admin is deleted then delete the picture of the admin also there is no need uh, for the picture so uh, before deleting the admin record from database also delete the picture so for pic for deletion picture first retrieve the name of the picture and then you can delete the picture so first retrieve the picture and then you can delete the picture by using this method and unlink method and you can delete the picture and after deleting the picture you can simply display here delete from uh, admin where uh, id is equal to uh, id so id is here from get request and the get request is uh, from here so delete id so this get request so we are getting id here and store it into id variable and first of all we are going to retrieve that uh, for the purpose of deleting the picture and after that we are going to delete this admin and if deletion is successfully performed without any error then go to the location home dot php and success success means the admin is deleted successfully so if i go to and click on yes button it will return success one record deleted successfully it means that uh, the success is equal to one by using get request we can identify that which is initiated by this section so admin deleted successfully so in this uh, section uh, category which is very simple very easy don't worry and update category it is not uh, a very time taking because we already discussed the code you can uh, download this file link is given in the video description so please copy the file very carefully because update method is also mentioned in this file so only copy the file or copy the data lines uh, till this line so copy the code and paste it here all the methods and checks and deletion all are same you just click on categories and after categories here is the retrieval the same all is same and you can add any category like machine learning you can submit the request and the new category is added and scene is for updation and from here till the end of the file you can select and simply paste it here and you can update any category that you want to update successfully record updated successfully so all you know about this so the only thing is that you know that the these are the tabs these are the links of these tabs and the categories is active so why this is active because uh, here is the category uh, and we are using a class class that is class is equal to grant it means that the style uh, file from CSS we are going to make this little bit white and the green color of the text so in this way you can uh, add category section uh, almost the code is same but just you are inserting data into the ID and category section uh, instead of different columns that we are uh, used in uh, admin but here is the ins uh, update query and insertion method and all the methodology uh, is same thank you for watching this video please subscribe my channel see you in next lecture